Happy Election Day. I don't know if the word happy describes all of the feelings that we're having, but we are almost to the finish line. And I think it's really a shame that this right that people fought and died for has come to feel a little bit like a burden because of the type of of arguments and name calling and general vitriol that is spit during an election season. We have to remember, no matter what bad feelings we have, it is still an incredible right and obligation to get out and vote. So what's the solution? Because if social media still exists in two years, we're going to be going through the same thing. We're going to have the same conversation. Unless. Unless we put ourselves in the place of the Philippians. That's what you expected me to say, right? In Paul's letter to the Philippians, he's warning them about envy, rivalry, selfish ambition. In chapter 2, verse 5, it says, Have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus. When you interact with one another, don't just act like Jesus. Pretend like you're interacting with Jesus. That that's different to me. If I'm acting like Jesus, I have to really imagine myself different because I'm a sinner. And I feel like it's a stretch for me to be Jesus. Some days maybe a little better than others, but a lot of days I feel like it's a big stretch. But for me to imagine that I'm interacting with Jesus, I'm still a sinner. I'm still Abby. You're still you. But how do you treat that person that you're talking to? If you're treating them like Jesus, things are going to be different. How would you treat the person who's holding the sign for the other candidate if you imagined him as Jesus? How would you treat the Facebook friend who's opposed to the amendment that you're passionate about if you imagined her as Jesus? Because I would offer words of love. I would try to give the benefit of the doubt. I would listen. And you might be saying, well, Jesus would never campaign for that. Jesus would never support that candidate. You're missing the point. Christ is in each one of us. And you want others to see Christ in you, surely, right? then why not try to see him in others and then act accordingly? Love. Give the benefit of the doubt. Listen. Listen.